Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of two martyrs. Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, and Blessed Husto Takayama Ukon, a Japanese Catholic Samurai. Let us pray in this Mass that like them, we may not be afraid to live out our faith and to courageously witness to Jesus in the world. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist let us humbly acknowledge the many sins that we have committed and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr Saint Blaise, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees as they are written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in whatever you do, wherever you turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said, If your sons so conduct themselves that they may remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, Leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, after several weeks of hearing the story of David, 
who is considered as the greatest king of Israel, our first reading today narrates to us the death of David, the end of his rule as king. But before David died, he gave some dying instructions to Solomon, his son, who would succeed him as king. Naghabilin si David kay Solomon na siyang hahalili sa kanya bilang hari. And what were the dying instructions of David? David did not tell his son Solomon how to keep the kingdom to himself and to their line, how to assure that the kingdom will not be given to others. David did not tell Solomon how to grow rich and to gain more power and wealth so that he may be a great king. Hindi yan ang mga inihabili ni David kay Solomon. David told his son, in order, to, in order for you to be a good king, an effective leader of God's people, then rely completely in God. Trust God. Keep the mandates of God. Follow the will of God. Obey the commandments of God and be faithful to God. Napakagandang mga habilin para pala maging mabuting pinuno, hindi lang makapangyarihan, malakas at mayaman, kundi nagtitiwala sa Diyos at sumusunod sa Diyos. Yan ang habili ni David sa kanyang anak. In our gospel today, Jesus also gives instructions to the apostles before he sent them to mission. Jesus tells the twelve what they should bring and what they should not bring, what they should do, while they are doing the mission entrusted to them. But the bottom line of Jesus' instructions is, trust in God, be good, and be faithful to the will of God. Very much like what David told Solomon. My dear brothers and sisters, we also give instructions to others. Siguro kanina, bago kayo umalis sa inyong bahay, nagbigay kayo ng mga instructions, nagbigay kayo ng mga habilin sa inyong mga anak o sa inyong asawa o sa inyong mga kasama sa bahay. And I'm sure today, we will give many instructions at work, at our, at whatever we will do today, we will give instructions to others. Siguro yung mga magulang sinabi sa kanilang mga anak o oh, makikinig kang mabuti sa online class. Gawin mong mabuti yung sasabihin ng teacher mo. O kaya siguro hinabilinan din tayo o mag-iingat kay sa labas. Marami tayong binibigay na habilin. But just like David and Jesus, let us instruct each other to be good, 
to follow God's will, to be faithful to God, because these are the assurances that we become effective leaders and faithful disciples of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when you give instructions today, do not just give practical instructions. When you give instructions today, tell people, encourage others to do good, to follow God's will, to be faithful to the Lord. That is the best instruction that we could give each other. Please all stand. God the Father has invited us to be his ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the work of missionaries in foreign lands may be rewarded with an abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may persevere in their vocation of handling on the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may show care, sympathy, love, and understanding to those who are weighed down by life's misfortunes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, in you we trust. You have chosen us in Christ to proclaim the love you have shown us. Make us true to the message of the Gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love 
through which Saint Blaise overca- overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Blaise, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Blaise, blessed Husto Takayama Ukon, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr blaze faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of two martyrs. The first is Blessed Husto Takaya Maukon. He was a Catholic Japanese samurai who escaped the persecutions in Japan in the 17th century. And in 1614, he went to Manila and he celebrated Mass here. He attended Mass here at the Manila Cathedral. We pray that soon, Blessed Husto Takayama may be canonized and may be raised among the saints of our Catholic Church. Today we also celebrate the memorial of Saint Blaise, a bishop in Armenia during the fourth century, and he is well known for prayers for illnesses especially illnesses connected to the throat. And so today, as we give you the final blessing, we shall ask the intercession of St. Blaise to deliver us from all sickness, especially from the sickness of the throat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from every other illness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, it's a